peep. 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 Somebody thinks he's funny. Anyhow, back before uh, the interruption. Where we left off with the tie beam layout, with the uh, scarf joint layout, was we got the, the adjacent face and the reference face laid out from the Aris. What I have to do now, and it's kind of important to show, is I have to transfer those from the reference face onto the other side. Um, how we do that, I'm going to draw square lines down from my reference face, so everything's still going to be lined up for the reference face, because if this side's out of square, and I know the bottom's a little out of square, if this side's out of square, and I try to do my lines based off of this side, it's going to throw things out of whack. So what I want to do, I just want to continue these lines down that I have. And like I said, this one's going to be kind of hard. simply because of that wane. That's actually going to be a real pain in my ass to do that. Now again, you see I'm putting the square on my reference face. I'm not squaring, squaring up from here down. I'm going off of my heiress and my reference face. This is how you make up for issues with unsquare timbers, things like that. You pick your best, your best sides and you lay out accordingly. So, start forgetting steps here. So this one's going to go down four inches. I'm going to do this right off of my framing square. Actually, let's take the... Uh, losing my mind tonight. Okay. I am losing my mind. It's like I'm forgetting everything I'm supposed to be doing here. Now I need to carry... I have to measure here. Uh, oh, help me out, guys. I have to go from here to here, but because of this wane, it's not like I can line that square right up to the edge. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my level here, line it up on the lines I already drew, Double check before you make that mark. Looks like I'm good. Make sure you don't let anything move. There we go. All right. So we're going to come up to the top here. I'm going to think here for a minute. Oh, bastard. Okay, so from this corner down, I'm going to measure four inches. I don't know where that crack is. Little circle there so we see what we have. And then you're just going to connect the dots. So we have that under squint laid out. We have this under squint laid out. I need my six foot level. You guys must be bored to tears of all this droning on. That's good for you. You'd be a little bored once in a while. But I'm not really doing this one for the view count so much as 
kind of trying to document for some of you guys who are planning your own projects. I couldn't find anything. I mean, I could find nothing on YouTube on an actual explanation of most of the joinery. I could find a whole lot of music videos of people cutting joinery. A ton of those out there. But there is there isn't squat for uh, there isn't squat for people uh, actually cutting the darn joints or uh, laying them out. Yeah. Now this is where you can run into a little bit of trouble. You're trying to line this stuff up. One end wants to move on you, and you kind of have to be able to hold everything all at once. Make sure you're tight on that corner. So I'm just going to get a couple of kerf lines just in case. I end up moving this level, something moves on me. Do I have something I can line back up with? I tell you, I marvel at the old timers who've done this kind of work their whole life and they're just damn good at it. It's like they don't even have to think about it, you know? Now we're gonna lay out the middle of this thing. So I have that spot there. Unfortunately, this is going to be a little bit trickier. This is going to be a little trickier. And this is where I might get off just a little bit. There's a little bit of an eyeball factor here. I really don't like drawing any kind of square line off of anything that's not. Off of anything that is not my uh, reference face or my adjacent face. Of course, this is my adjacent face I'm using there. But I, I really do prefer to take everything I can off of that reference face. That's just kind of the best policy, you know. I mean, that's what's going to get you your accuracy. If you don't have the accuracy, you might as well pack it in and go home, you know. So again, we're going to use our level. I'm going to line up on this line. This one's a little bit harder to do. You guys could say it. Looks like a monkey doing what to a what now? Careful not to move anything. Now if I did everything right here, hopefully this guy will end up being square. I'm saying I did everything right. That's if I didn't slip at all and holding the level or anything like that. Let's see. There's the test. I am pretty well on the money. I'm actually off. You can still see my line there, but I'm probably off by about a sixteenth of an inch. I can deal with it. If it wasn't for that wane on there, or if I hadn't gotten off when I milled this beam, I'd probably be fine. I will tell you guys, I'll give you guys another, another helpful suggestion when you're laying out the joints, when you're doing that. Move the camera back so I can talk to you. All right, so that covers 
<clears throat> that covers laying out the scarf joint. Next video on this will uh, will actually be cutting the scarf joint, so there won't be there won't be a ton of talking in it. But uh, reason I'm putting this one up, like I said a few minutes ago, there is hardly anything out there on actually laying it out that I could find on YouTube and the world the world we're living in today. A lot of us learn from YouTube. That's what we watch. That's what we learn. Um, so kind of keep that kind of thing in mind if you're reading it or you're watching this and you're going to give it a thumbs down i get it you know too much talking but uh i'm just trying to explain for those who want to do one of these i really i think a good explanation of this joint because this is such a critical joint really most of your joints in the timber frame are critical each joint's relying on another joint to make it to make everything work it ties it all together but these joints are very critical you want them to line up you want them to line up right and i've had a couple where they're a little bit off i mean nothing major you know i can live with it but you don't want something you have to live with allow the dirt bike to go by here wow he's actually going slow tonight how about that well, 20 years down the road, I'm going to be that old man sitting in the end of his driveway yelling at kids to slow down. <laughs> what are you laughing at? The boy is behind us laughing, Cherky. Oh, you to laugh? No, you're all right. <laughs> Less people see you, the better, pal. That wasn't an invitation. Are you testing the waters tonight? <laughs> a little. A little? Yeah. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> hey, he's getting quick. So, anyhow, like I said, I'll reiterate. Everything is laid out from the reference space. That's how you're going to make sides that aren't square the same as your good square sides. Carry your lines over. When you get to this side, opposite of your reference and adjacent face, I really don't, I'm not doing taking any measurements other than the, the four inch lines that I have. But I'm not taking any measurements for the length or anything on that. And I'm not gonna. Because what I found, I've gone to double check measurements and I've driven myself nuts trying to get this side because they're, they're probably going to be off a little bit if your timber's a, lot of, a little out of square. But as long as you're as long as you're measuring off of this guy, the reference face, everything should line up pretty well. So, anyhow, that said, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, sorry for the length of these explanations, but uh, this is meant for those who are really interested in building one of these. This isn't. You know, anybody can watch it if you're curious. Anybody, obviously, I'm not going to say, geez, don't watch my video. But what I'm saying is this one is definitely meant for the people who are looking to do one of these projects. So anyhow, you guys have a good evening, and I will catch you on the next one.